I was reading Anthony Bourdain's book, Kitchen Confidential, and it uh, was discussing all these unsavory elements that people don't know about in the culinary world, and I started thinking, wow, someone should write a book about the martial arts community that exposes the unsavory elements that we have to deal with that people just don't know about. And I said, wow, you know, someone really should write this book, and so... I sat down and I started writing it, and the original working title was actually Dojo Confidential. I mean, that's how much of a ripoff of Kitchen Confidential I intended it to be. But as I started writing it, it started morphing into something else. It became a much more uh, personal story. Uh, I started talking about my family and, you know, hardships of my youth and being bullied and, and you know, dealing with a drug addict mother and how I turned to martial arts as a method of coping with this and found martial arts wasn't at all what I thought it was supposed to be. You know, I'd always heard about honor and discipline and commitment and how it was this really noble sort of practice. And the deeper I got into it, the more I realized that that's just something that's used to market it to the masses in Western culture. It's not at all what they present it to be. You know, there's lying, betrayal, cheating, um, there's just all kinds of, of unbelievable things that happen within martial arts. And so it became a story that exposes these unsavory elements, but through my life and through what I had to endure. Um, but despite all this, all the negativity that you find in the martial arts world, somehow I was able to grow as a person through my martial arts training. Uh, and that's really what the book is about. I didn't really write it with the intention of it being controversial. Um, I wrote the book with the intention of it just being honest just and unfiltered. Uh, and fortunately, that's the way it was received. Before I released it, I actually sent some chapters out to some guys in my circle and most of them were like, yeah, you've, you know, this is a, bo a book that's needed to be written for quite a long time. But, you know, there are a couple of my guys who were like, man, you can't, you can't put this out. You know, the, you know, people are going to, people are going to lose their minds when they read this. And fortunately, people did respond to it the way I hoped. You know, I got so much positive feedback and so much encouragement from after I re released it. Uh really made the whole project worthwhile. I decided to do it as an ebook because I think digital media is the wave of the future and you know I'd rather get there first than last. Uh, so I updated it with uh, five new chapters uh, and a new introduction by uh, one of my guys, David, and put it out. Uh, and so far people have been responding really well to it. I'm really happy with uh, with how uh, the new work's been received.